Hey, Eric Moss from ericjmoss.com. Uh, last night I was cruising YouTube, just kind of wasting time, kind of, kind of like what you're doing right now. But I came across a video called "How to Win Any Fight," and I always like watching these these videos on how to beat the crap out of people and that sort of thing. Even though I know that if you want to win someone's fight, just take their eye out. I mean, nobody's kicking anyone's ass if there's a finger two knuckles deep inside their eyeball. But it was apparently by some image consulting guy that's trying to tell men how to act and dress and, and that sort of thing. And my first impression of him was that he was gay, which to me I don't think that's a very good consultant. If, if you're putting out the image that you're gay when you're not, that's essentially you're not being yourself. That's not the right kind of image to put out. Unless you are gay. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but well, you, you, get, you get what I'm talking about. But anyways, I checked out a, this guy, another couple of this guy's videos, and one video where he was talking about how to build a massive chest, I guess, to improve your look. And one quote uh, really caught my attention. He said something to the effect of, it's not how strong you are, it's how strong you look that really makes a difference. And I disagree with that. You see, he doesn't, you know, like him being an image consultant, me being a fitness guy, he's only kind of scratched the surface of fitness and that sort of thing. And admittedly, I've only really kind of scratched the surface too. I mean, there's just so much out there. There's just too much to understand that one person can't possibly take it all in. That's what she said. But there's there were three studies that kind of caught my attention. I discovered these when I was checking out the research that the Adonis Effect was based on. One was called the Fitness Hi Indicator Hypothesis, and that basically had said that moderately muscular men were more sexy than, um, than overly muscular men or underly muscular men. And the reasoning for that was that they were more balanced. Then the name of the study was Why is Muscularity Sexy? And it was the Fitness Indicator Hypothesis, and that goes on the premise that females would have selected males that were most fit so that they could have strong genes and have strong offspring, and at the same time the male would be able to protect them from things like saber-toothed tigers and mammoths and just be able to be a good provider for them. What kind of caught my attention when I was studying that one was that there were two other studies let me just bring these up so I don't get their names wrong. One was called Human Adaptations for the Visual Assessment of Strength and Fighting Ability from the Body and Face. Now obviously someone with a bit of muscle is going to look stronger than someone who's not. But this particular study also took a picture of their face. Just like, just this. And people had to guess which ones were strong and they were actually able to determine who was strong just from the pictures of their face with relative accuracy. The other was, let me bring this up again, adaptations in humans for assessing physical strength from the voice. See kind of the basis behind these is if you go back to the evolutionary, sorry someone just was just running next to my backyard distracting me for a second there. but. Back in the day when we were evolving, humans would have wanted to know, or men would have wanted to know which guys were safe to beat the crap out of and which ones were not. And the same, it's, so you can tell who's strong from the voice and from their face. And at the same time, girls would want to know who would be a productive male for them so that they can be safe and that sort of thing from the saber-toothed tigers back to that whole evolutionary perspective. But apparently there's something, there's some kind of, something in our brains that can sense these biomarkers of fitness. And you don't want to ignore that sort of thing. So just trying to look strong is going to send off red flags that tells people that you're not strong. It's better to just be strong. First, strength is useful. You know, you help someone move a couch. If, if you get into a fight, that you can't talk your way out of. A strong person's probably going to be able to hit harder than someone who's not strong. And when you hit harder, then you can poke their eye out. Um, but 
it's better to just be legit. And it also goes back to that whole image consulting thing where I saw another thing where he's talking about how to dress and he had recommended not to wear heel lifts because that was false advertising. If you've got weak muscles, that's also false advertising. So just train to be strong. Everything else will fall into place and you'll have the total package and who doesn't want that? Well, anyways, that's it for today. It's Eric J. Moss from ericjmoss.com over and out.